Let's just settle into our meditation posture. So just uh, check your legs. Just remember if your feet are on the ground, you can support them with a cushion. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. <laughs> uh, and then legs in a cross-legged position. If you're sitting on a couch, I mean, if you're uncomfortable, you can always put little cushions under your knees as well, if that's uncomfortable. And then definitely put something underneath your um, those um, your coccyx and your sit bones. You'll notice a very big difference. And then if you if you don't have anything under there, you tend to be kind of just falling backwards. So just uh, hands in the meditation mudra, sort of the right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of radiant blissful light stretching from your sacrum all the way up through the crown of your head. And you've probably been running around all day or sitting in a chair all day or maybe cooking dinner, lifting things, lifting children, pets. So now just allow the spine to relax, allow those, some air in between those discs. Just very gently stretch the spine out with the shoulders over the hips. Head is slightly tipped forward, eyes down. If your eyes are open, they'd be looking at a space, a little bit of head, a little bit ahead of you, maybe two inches. Tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, relax the jaw and the lips slightly apart. And let's just uh, go to the crown of the head and just check the top of the scalp. Relax that, relax your forehead, your eyes, your nose, your cheeks, your jaw. Tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. We did that. So relax the face, the mouth. And go to the back of the head and relax the scalp there. And then again, you'll do a, a second relaxation of the face, which is just be aware of how much um, tension we hold there. And over time, that tension turns into wrinkles and they sort of stay in place. And then you've got this older face that is formed by pretty much what's going on in the mind and also your, the shape of your skull. Try and relax and relax the back of the neck and the shoulders, the back, the throat, the chest, the belly, the arms, hands. We hold quite a bit of tension in our hands, the legs, the feet and the toes. So just bring the mind to the breath. Notice a slightly cool air as you're breathing in and then slightly warmer air as you're breathing out. Just the sensation flowing in through your nostrils. If there's any sound in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. And allow the thoughts abiding, rising, abiding, falling. And if there's any distracting thoughts, try not to, don't, you're not going to be able to push them away, but just try not to follow them or engage in them. As we just think of the motivation for this evening's purification. So we're doing this purification to sort of pull out all these negative karmic seeds that we've created over eons not just this life, so that they don't ripen into our future suffering and cause obstacles and create problems for us. So it makes, then it makes our practice difficult. And we want to keep practicing 
with as few obstacles as possible so we can make our way to enlightenment. So then just remember, there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process is basically a psychological one. So we create negativity with our mind. We can also create positivity with our mind. We can counteract it. And so we're going to purify our negative seeds by applying the four opponent powers. And the first of this is the power of regret. So the other day when we did this, Venerable Rabina um, started with the second one by putting Vajrasattva on the crown of the head. But today would I'll just follow the format that she's written in her um, this little practice. So we'll start with regret. So sincerely, sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day in this life in all your past lives. And just think of any specific actions from today. Something you said, an ant you accidentally killed. And then maybe last week. And then in general, regret the things that we have done, that, <clears throat> excuse me, that we don't necessarily remember from many years ago. Perhaps out of our own frustration in the supermarket, we gave the checkout person a hard time. And then we don't know how our actions impact on others because we don't know what kind of a day they're having, what's going on in their life when they get home. So we want to try and be careful with other people. We don't know how fragile they are. So we can't bear the thought of any future suffering because we already know what that's like. So the logic, therefore, is to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as suffering for us. So think, I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, broken my vows, because I do not want any future suffering. I'm sick of the suffering. And so regret any anger, attachment, and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and think I'm sick of this suffering. So what can I do? Whom can I turn to? So here we come, the power of reliance. And we're relying upon Guru Vatrasattva, the Buddha, the doctor. And he has the methods that we can use to purify. So we're not asking him for forgiveness. We're asking for his methods to teach us. So visualize Guru Vatrasattva above the crown of your head. And he's, you can imagine this is the mind of your guru, your teacher, your trusted mentor, manifesting in this form, this particular form as Vajrasattva, for your benefit. So it's, this is uh, made, of, he's made of beautiful, blissful, radiant white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus, or just can, in this picture, it's multicolored, doesn't matter. And he's got this radiant, beautiful face. He's his lotus-like eyes, which are, they're peaceful and full of love and compassion with no judgment to you whatsoever. Just accepts you exactly as you are. And even though he's sitting above your head, facing the same direction as you, you can still see everything about you. And he just loves you anyway. He's this sweet red mouth and his hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right holding a vajra representing the indestructibility of, of compassion and their being crossed represents the union of these two. And that symbolizes enlightenment, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I am enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, May I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So we want to try and develop compassion here for these sentient beings. So particularly we start with the beings that we have harmed by developing compassion for them. 
And then we think about the ones who have harmed us. And this is a little bit, perhaps a little bit more challenging. But just to remember the harm that they've caused us, our karma's finished. The harm that we received, our karma's ripened, it's done. Their karma has only just begun. And their suffering will be in accordance to the harm we've, they've done to us. So you want to have compassion for them because they will suffer in the future. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings. We must purify for their sake. <clears throat> now we come to the remedy. And this is the actual medicine of doing the practice of purification. The first one we do is the purification of the body. So imagine Guru Vajrasattva very compassionately sending this powerful white nectar like coming out of like quite forcefully from his heart. It arcs around and uh, pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps coming and pouring into you, pouring into you, and it forces out of your lower orifices all the negativities of your body in the form of inky liquid and it disappears into space, not one atom left. So just visualize that as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepayata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ho 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 Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, supokaya mebawa, anarakta mebawa, sawasidi mempi yata sawa kama sutane, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sapa ah hum pe. Om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina me. Dido mebowa, sutokayo mebowa, supokayo mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawa siri, mempe yata sawa kama sita me, sitam triam guru hum, ha 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 ho, bagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame muza vajra bawa mahasa maya sapa ah hum pe. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anorakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Triam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sava Siddhi Mempe Yata Sava Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutoshaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sava Siddhi Mempe Yata Sava Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe So be delighted that all the harm that you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think that there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. How amazing. And the next is a purification of the speech. So again, Guru Vajrasattva very happily sends this powerful nectar um, from his heart chakra. It arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, filling your entire body. This time forcing up to the top of your body all the negative view of speech and it overflows and disappears into space. So the analogy they use here is this one of, you know, filling a, a dirty jar full of water in the sink and all the dirt sort of just flows up and pours out the top. So we imagine this 
as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dina Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supakaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutrashaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutrashaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mimpi Yasa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutrashaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi mempe yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame musa vajra bawa maha samaya sata ah hum pe. Om vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita dira mebawa suto kaya mebawa supo kaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawa sidi mempe yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Suto Kaya Mebawa Subo Kaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpe Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutrashaya Mebawa Supachaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe So again, I feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified. So all the gossip gone all the negative speech gone, all the lying gone, all the rapping on about nothing, boring others to death, gone. And just think now, all you're going to be able to do is be of benefit to others with your speech. Every single syllable that comes out of your mouth will be of benefit to the people who hear you. And this you will have the power of speech, so amazing. You can do so much with your voice. It is the main, the main skill of Shakyamuni Buddha. It's the speech, the teachings, the Dharma. It's very precious. We have this voice we can use, so it's really important we try not to use it to harm. And the next is the purification of the mind. And imagine Guru Vajrasapha very compassionately sending powerful beams of light this time from his heart chakra and it kind of arcs around and enters your crown, fills your entire being. And just as Lama Yeshi says, the minute you walk into a room, switch on a light, it dispels the darkness. The light dispels the darkness. So, so in the same way, the minute the light from Guru Vajrasattva's heart so hits your heart, it dispels all the negativity of the mind. So all the attachment, the neediness, the anger, depression, anxiety, and the resentment, the bitterness, and jealousy, and all the grudges, all instantly dispelled, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra. 
Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dino Patita Dida Mebawa Sutashaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dino Patita Dida Mebawa Sutakaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Mebawa, an erect in Mebawa, Sawa Sidi, Mimpi Yatsa Sawa, Kama Zutta May, Sitam Shriam Guru, Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe, Vajra Sapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dina Mebawa, Super Shaya Mebawa, Super Shaya Mebawa, an erect in Mebawa, Sawa Sidi, Mimpi Yatsa Sawa, Kama Zutta May, Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dina Mebawa Sutra Shaya Mebawa Supa Shaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sava Siddhi Mepe Yata Sava Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutta Paya Mebawa Supa Shaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sava Siddhi Mepe Yata Sava Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutta Shaya Mebawa Supa Shaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sava Siddhi Mepe Yata Sava Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manipalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dina Mebawa Sutta Shaya Mebawa Supa Shaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mepe Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe so now be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and with our speech, are totally purified. They've gone. And now think there's no place in your heart. There's no space for anything other than love and wisdom and kindness, compassion. So now we're going to purify is just the tiny negative imprints the very subtle imprints of negativity of the body, the speech, and the mind from our mind stream. So this time, imagine that Guru Vajrasattva is sending light. You can imagine light. You can do the <clears throat> three previous visualizations simultaneously, one after the other. If that feels a little bit too busy, just feel, just imagine light or light and nectar as we kind of eradicate the very, the kind of the last vestiges of this subtlest imprint of negative energy, negative energy from your mind. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutakaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muzza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutashaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutashaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe 
Yam Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutashaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Maza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sapha Ahum Pe Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutashaya Mebawa Supashaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muzha Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Nira Mebawa Sutta Shaya Mebawa Supa Shaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sava Siddhi Mepe Yata Sava Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muzha Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutta Shaya Mebawa Supa Shaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sava Siddhi Mepe Yata Sava Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Now think you feel you're completely purified, not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. So the fourth is the power of resolve. So this is a very, very cu crucial step in the purification process. This is the determination to not harm with our body and our speech and our mind again. And so without this, we are going to keep following the same old patterns, going down the same old path, same old habits. So remember, as Lama Sopramashe says, everything exists on the tip of the wish, the aspiration. So just think for a moment something that we would perhaps like to work on. I think for most of us, it's going to be something to do with our speech. So perhaps we make a determination that just for five minutes or eight hours while we're sleeping, try and refrain from harming others. And as we're not necessarily always 100% sure how things are going to land when we speak, when we act, because it all depends on how the other person is feeling. We have to be careful. Just perhaps refrain from saying things or doing things that we wouldn't perhaps like have done to us. At the very least. And so generally we kind of make a vow to refrain from doing many of the other things that we perhaps can't remember doing. So this gives us the courage to change. So imagine Guru Vajrasap is delighted with us. So wanting to merge with your mind, he melts into light, absorbs into you through your crown. And you think, my Guru's body, speech, and mind, Vajrasapha's body, speech, and mind, my own body, speech, and mind are the same thing. And Lama Yish used to call this union oneness. So next, as Lama Zaprimashe suggests, meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, creative of negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So place, just for at whatever level we understand emptiness, just place your mind there for a little while. In this way, you think of all phenomena as empty. They do not exist from their own side. And all things are dependent arisings. This occurs because of that. And then we can also just, as I keep saying, saying it for myself as much as for all of us, you know, to do with the way we perceive the world is based on the way our physical body is structured and way, the way our karma is. So perhaps we can 
maybe think that not everything that we perceive is the way it actually really exists. So it's good to be curious, to question things occasionally. Instead of having this kind of concrete view. So let's dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy that we have created this evening by doing this purification to all living beings. And particularly, let's think of the people of Afghanistan right now and the people of Haiti. Just had a big earthquake and now they have some storms. And Afghanistan is so incredibly tragic. So maybe send a lot of love and peace and bliss in that direction. May all the virtuous karma I have created for, from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And then for His Holiness Dalai Lama, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And then uh, for Lama Soprim you uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplish magnificent prayers, honoring the three jewels, savor of myself and others, your disciples. Please, please live long. And for Lama Ursel, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West. Mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And for our precious Geshela, beloved teacher, leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please have a long and stable life. And so now we can all go to bed with a happy mind. We can relax, watch telly, whatever. <laughs> We're purified, and your baby did fall asleep, didn't he? Look at him, he's amazing. <laughs> um, and thank you so very much for coming. It's so lovely to see you all. And so Friday morning, look forward to seeing you again. Okay, lots of love, everyone.